Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for June 5th, 2019. So, my goodness, we had what I mean, what a tremendous move yesterday a big short covering uh, rally, a big uh, short covering squeeze that they triggered, moving the Dow up 500 points on the day. Pretty darn amazing, up 515 points, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> Excuse me, no, um, let's see, Is that right? Yeah, 515 points on the Dow. Um, looking really, really good here um, in that move yesterday. And now we're gapping up this morning. We, um, you know, top story on the CNBC app. If you take a look, I don't watch CNBC. I use my phone app. But um, the phone app, uh, top story up there is the Fed considering a rate cut. And, of course, the market just loves the prospect of lower cost money and um, is firing up in a big way this morning. So as we take a look at this chart, as you can see, we're going to gap up substantially this morning, uh, possibly gapping up through our downtrend here on the Dow and right into some price congestion in the chart. Now, I want you to consider something. One of the things that happened to me years and years and years, I struggled with this, is this <clears throat> emotion that affects all of us as traders, and that's the emotion of the fear of missing out we we may not be in this move and then this big gap up this morning and all we can think about is i have to hurry up i'm going to miss out on this trade well i want you to consider after such a substantial increase in price in such a short period of time would it not be possible that we see the pop and drop pattern today. Not that it that's exactly what's going to happen, but the possibility of that happening. And after these big moves like that, that seems to be, um, well, it's, it's certainly a very good possibility or a good setup for that if that were to occur. And all we have to do to avoid that is have a little bit of patience. Let me explain that in just a uh, second. But if you look up here, if we were to gap up and see a, a candle like this on the day, uh, popping up this morning and then um, selling off after that, that could be a really painful lesson in the importance of patience. So watch that closely this morning. And remember, we are gapping right into into resistance. So what do we want to watch for? Well, if we do get that gap up this morning, we want to maybe um, focus on go to a, a shorter term chart and let's wait and see like yesterday's move. We had the gap up. Let's give it a few minutes. Notice this is 15, 30, 45 minutes and all of a sudden we did see those uh, buyers step in supporting this gap and giving us the confidence in the trade the last thing we want to do is end up jumping into that gap up open only to find sellers coming into play so watch that pretty closely this morning i can't i'm not certainly not uh, trying to predict that's what is going to occur, but it would be kind of logical after such a big move that there's going to be some profit taking coming into place. Will it be enough to drive it back down? Don't know, but remember, we still have all of the trade war issues and things like that. Nothing has really changed here except the prospect of a little bit of a, a rate cut um, in interest. So let's um, let's move on forward here, taking a look at the technicals of the chart. If we continue to move up, if we can continue to move up, let's watch these levels right through here. And by the way, if I pull this chart back. Um, right through here we've got these price levels that we have to consider as rather significant levels of resistance so if we do move on through and move on higher we're going to want to watch those areas up there for resistance if we do catch that pop and drop if we do start to fail it's going to be really really important that we hold one of these price levels in here on that pullback we don't want to see that full-on reversal so a gap up that pulls back into here is nothing more than a setup for a potential long trade. 
And what I mean by that is we get that gap up, that move. Maybe we get a, a couple of days of rest in here. And then we're off to the races for a nice and a, 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 a well-designed uh, pattern for a trade. Notice this move over here after we get this sell-off. Big popping move. Got that little tiny rally. There's that pullback. Here's our entry into this long trade. Um, so watch for those patterns. A similar thing occurred right in here, if you guys remember. Big gap up. Big move follow through move and then we got this pullback and here's the easy entry into that trade so just kind of keep that in mind there's always back and forth we don't have to get caught up in this fear of missing out chasing into a trade and ultimately getting punished for that let's take a look at the spy real quick spy also looking really big moves here um complete reversal yesterday on that short squeeze and this morning we're looking at a gap up into here that's actually going to gap us up right into the downtrend line so let's kind of keep uh, that in mind and remember we have that resistance right through a uh, price resistance right through this area so if we gap up into that downtrend that would be the perfect place to maybe see some potential sellers now if we do continue to move higher let's watch these price levels there's really a uh, a small level of resistance right through here we could catch a little resistance in here and if we can move on through we hit that resistance right above so kind of consider those now if we do get that little pullback today um, if we see sellers coming in we're going to want to make sure that we can kind of hold on to some of these levels of support here in the chart. And what I would suggest is that 200 day moving average is going to be really critical. If um, sellers do come back in, we don't wanna see a pullback that would break us back down below that 200. But a pullback to hold the 200 could actually set up a great opportunity for a trade. All right, so keep that in mind. And let's also keep in mind that all of these indexes are below their 50 day moving average. There's nothing here technically that is telling us that we should be ripping higher here. So remember, there's a lot of technical damage that has to be repaired, and that normally takes some time. Of course, if the Fed comes out and just cuts rates like crazy and we get the uh, the trade stuff behind us hey anything is possible but just keep in mind normally we're going to run into those resistance levels and we're going to struggle with those for just a period of time as um, we work through the details of uh, the technicals and get everything put back together uh, the way we should. Let's take a look at um, the Q's. Q's, um, big rally up. Q's really has struggled a lot. And obviously with the, the thought of the antitrust um, investigations that the federal government's into, the fact that the trade war has really kind of turned more into a tech war, you can see this rally back up is going to get us back above this 200 day moving average but we haven't traveled up so much that this couldn't pull right back so here's a um, a substantial resistance area in the chart and we're gapping up into here this morning and let's keep in mind we still have that downtrend in play so we are going to be gapping up Somewhere in this area, right near that downtrend and right near these price resistance levels in the chart. So if we can rally, let's watch for these levels up here to provide that resistance. And if we start to turn around and fail, let's um, hope that we can hold on to that 200 day moving average of support and then get those bulls uh, working to the upside. So let's watch that closely. Last but not least is IWM. IWM, big rally yesterday big strong move um, rallying back above this important area right here of resistance rallying back up through there but let's keep in mind uh, we still have a lot of work to do here on IWM currently our downtrend here in IWM is not only here in the chart 
but all the way up here IWM is still not healthy and let's keep in mind that it is still well below its 250 day moving average so as we rally back up and test resistance levels up in here as we move through into these resistance levels we have to consider the fact that we're still beneath the 50 day and the 200 day moving average providing resistance in the chart so keep that in mind so if we rally watch these resistance levels if we um, pop and drop if we happen to pop up and pull back we're going to want to hold on to these levels of support in the chart we don't want to see those drift all the way back down that would mean just a lower high and a continuation of the downtrend let's take a look at the vix real quick the VIX has been one of those that's almost, it's been really perplexing to be honest with you. In the, in the selling that's going on, there's been little to no fear in this market. I don't know what brought that on and it really doesn't matter. Um, what matters is that we're paying attention uh, to uh, how the market is responding to these, to these big moves. And so you can see now we have this downtrend established here in, um, in the VIX and this big move down yesterday uh, in that suggesting fear dropping out of the market considerably yesterday and with a gap down this morning we may be down into here testing this level of support um, in the VIX and maybe even dropping on through there so watch that closely fear dropping out but if we b bounce down or gap down here and start seeing that fear rise that's where we could start worrying about uh, possibly that pop and drop and um, a little bit more profit taking coming in to the trade so let's watch that carefully how about t2122 t2122 the four week new high new low ratio my goodness, look what happened here. We went from short-term oversold to nearly short-term overbought in one day, one quick move. And this morning's gap up is going to put us right up in here, right up in this bearish reversal zone. That's one of those reasons why just that short-term move, such a big move all at once, could certainly bring in some profit takers. So you're gonna wanna watch that closely. T2122 is giving us that clue that we this reversal has just gotten pretty darn uh, stretched really fast. Uh, and we could see some of those uh, sellers coming into play. So watch that carefully. Um, it would be one of the reasons I would be really watchful this morning to make sure that um, buyers actually support this gap before I would be considering any new positions whatsoever. Let's take um, take a look at the economic calendar. What's on that economic calendar that can move us around today? Well, we have a few things up here. We have the ADP report this morning. ADP telling us what the jobless claims are going, or not jobless claims, but what uh, the jobs number might look like here on Friday. Now, this is something to consider. <coughs> And the reason I say that is it's really not uncommon for the market to start to get a little bit um, light in volume, a little bit squishy um, as we wait for that big number coming in on Friday. So don't be too surprised that this gap up sees a little bit of selling and then we just kind of get soft for a little bit as we wait for those uh, big numbers to come in um, on Friday morning. <clears throat> Other than that, let's take a look what we have over here. We have... A parade of Fed speakers today. Everybody wants to get their comments in, I guess, on um, the possible um, uh, rate um, decrease. I don't know. Everybody's jumping on to speak right now. We also have the ISM non-manufacturing probably not going to move the market a lot today um, and then the EIA petroleum status report we know that does have the potential of moving around those oil stocks considerably if we happen to see a build or a reduction in supplies so you might want to watch that at 10 30 and then beige book unlikely to move the market today but does hold that possibility from time to time so kind of keep those things in mind as you plan out your day and prepare how you're going to approach the market 
for the day. That is the purpose of these videos, is not to predict anything, not to try and um, predict which way the market's going to go, anything like that. It's to prepare for the day and look for the the uh, reasons for bullishness, but also look for the reasons for bearishness and and prepare ourselves on how we should approach the market for today and how we're going to handle the different um, the different aspects of the news and events that could affect the market um, during the day. So it's preparation is more important than luck. And if we um, spend a little bit more time on preparation, we'll often do much, much better in our trading. Let's take a look um, on the earnings calendar today. We only have about 25 companies reporting. And honestly, not a lot of companies that would be particularly notable <clears throat> um, uh, reporting this morning. So kind of keep that in mind. It's unlikely we're going to get a, a big move um, based on some earnings report today let's take a look well first off i want to say thank you to everyone um, um, that watches these videos and shares these videos and takes the time to click those thumbs up buttons and leaving comments you know guys i do the very best job i can of putting out some good quality content without hype without all of this other stuff that you might see in other places just really good technical um uh, a look at the chart I, I certainly am not suggesting i am the best and i'm certainly not saying that um, i am the only source out there for this kind of thing but um, i try to do the very best job uh, that i can to help traders prepare for their day and if you find this useful, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button. Um, if you're brand new, never seen these videos, click that subscribe button and make sure you click that bell icon as well so that you can be notified every time I put one of these videos out. Now approaching 600 videos on YouTube. And I wanna say thank you so much because the growth that we're seeing in the channel is nice and steady. Um, I appreciate that so much and it really comes down to your support of the channel. Clicking those thumbs up buttons and leaving those comments means the world to me. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. So with that, let's take a look at um, a few charts that could be setting up, a few charts that are looking pretty good um, that I want to be keeping an eye on for potential trades. One of those would be Starbucks. Starbucks um, I was actually watching this and we talked about it during a right way options uh, session. This was a resistance level and I said, hey, if we got a failure in here, this could be a short trade. Well, obviously that didn't occur. We had this complete reversal, breaking back through resistance. And now looking at this resistance level up here, this big move, any rest, consolidation or pullback in here could provide that opportunity to begin or resume, I should say, the uptrend in Starbucks. You might wanna keep an eye on that. Starbucks looking good as of the end of day yesterday and could certainly set up some nice positions. Take a look at that Shopify. Shopify reversing that little pullback in reaction to the market. Shopify consolidating over toward its trend. I would watch this in here for that possibility that any day could be today because we are getting a gap up here in Shopify that this resumes its move to the upside. Uh, beautiful chart, beautiful setup in that trade. So keep an eye on um, Shopify. Take a look at Target. Target had this has had this two day massive move and it looks like it might even catch a little bit of gap up this morning. But here's what's important about Target. After this big move and breaking above price resistance in the chart here, and by the way, this price resistance runs all the way back here. Big price resistance level in the chart. Breaking above that price resistance level, we don't want to chase this move. We want to wait for this to rest or pull back and give us that opportunity into the trade. Let's also keep in mind that what we've done here is we've broken this longer term downtrend in the chart. So having moved up so sharply, we want to wait for that next entry into the trade. Um, target looking pretty strong here, looking 
looking pretty good could be an opportunity for um an, a nice trade <clears throat> taking a look at some of the defensive sector stocks um monster monster beverage trying to challenge a level of resistance right in here now one of the things that it's interesting about defensive sector stocks is oftentimes if the market is really running hard to the upside you'll see folks leaving these trades these are one of these places where uh, folks go uh, when there's um, uncertainty in the market if uncertainty raises its head again though over the next few days then this might be a place where we could look for a monster popping on out holding and giving us that opportunity for a trade so you might want to keep an eye on that so there's lots of stocks out there showing um, good signs good potentials um, we'll just want to be pretty focused on that price action and realize that the volatility is likely going to remain very high um, because of these big swinging moves that we're doing in the market so just a few charts for maybe for your list something that you want to keep an eye on with that everyone i want to wish you all the very best day i want to wish you great profits and remember you don't have to trade every day to be successful in the market what we have to do is be patient and wait for our edge for our trade to set up sometimes trading less means more profits everyone take care have an awesome day we'll talk to you all bright and early thursday morning wish you all the best